proved to be the truth. Now, first, any man could have said that. But she said, you say worship in Jerusalem and we worship this mountain. He said, salvation is of the Jews. We know what we believe. But said, let me tell you one thing in words like this. Neither in this mountain or at Jerusalem, for time's coming when the man shall worship God in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such. He said, go get your husband and come here. Watch, here it proved it. Here show what fountain she was at. Amen. Say, go get your husband. Come here. She said, I don't have any husband. He said, you said the truth. She looked like there's a plain contradiction to what he had asked her and said, go get your husband. She said, I have no husband. He said, you've said the truth. He said, because you've had five and the one you're living with now is not yours. Watch that woman. How different from the priest of that day. The priest of that day seen that same thing happen and said, that's the devil. Uh, telepathy or, or a Beelzebub. See, they failed to see the word promising that. But that little woman was better versed in the Scripture than any of the priest. Amen. She said, Sir, I perceive that you're a prophet. Yes. We haven't had one for 400 years. That's a Malachi. But said, We have looked for one and we know there's one coming, the Messiah. And when he comes, this will be what he'll do. Jesus said, I'm he. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Did you notice? She left her bucket at Jacob's cistern, run down into the city full of an artesian well. She'd seen it perfectly vindicated, and he was that fountain. Let me introduce you to you. She left that when it was proved to be the word of life. She left it and had discovered that the same rock that was smitten in the wilderness was proven to be present then. Let me say that same God that was in the days gone by that we speak so much of, He's present here now. Not by some theological understanding, but by a personal knowledge of His vindication that He had poured out in this last days the Holy Spirit upon His church. He is not a I was. He is still the I am. Present tense, always. Then the cistern lost its taste. And so does every man who ever falls into the power of God by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The denominational systems lose their taste. You don't want no more of that stagnated frogs and lizards and bugs and so forth. You're drinking from a fountain that's fresh and pure. The Word of God fresh every hour in your soul. The same is now when the Word has been proven to be the truth. Taste and see if it's not right. Though the sister had served us well, served his time well. But you see, the fountain of life was there. Not Jacob's well no more for spiritual drinking. What they thought they drank from that well, well, it would be all right. But now the fountain of life itself was sitting there. Now we don't.